Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Power of Collectibles. Pedro here. Angela. And now today, like I said, we're gonna do more videos on different collectibles, not just kind of pops. Today we bought another DC bombshell for Angela's collection. And then, I, um, you guys probably can't see it here, but I have my Dragon Ball Z figures right there. I'm a big anime fan, so I'm gonna be reviewing those in the future alongside with other things that I have from prior I was collecting pops but yeah our, our main focus is pops but we do have other things and now we're gonna showcase uh, uh, like I said something different it's not pops but it, it is Funko it is Funko brand you can say so I kind of like they kind of look the same but they're a little bit different I I seen them before but I never really liked them but they're recently we found like three that we like we're still missing one of the three that we like, but we do have two. And we just wanted to showcase these for all of you guys out there. And our first one, let's get right to it. Oh, actually, before we even begin, I want to say thank you to everybody that's subscribing, liking our stuff. Angela's really excited how many uh, yeah, subscribers we I have in there. I think right now we're at 29. 29, 29 28, something like that. We're, we're hoping to get to 50 by the end of the month. That's just our goal. But of course, if we don't make it, we're still going to be happy. Thank you to everybody subscribing and to everybody watching this. Yeah, it means a lot you. to us. You guys are awesome. Yeah, Angela's really happy with this. Me, I'm just happy we get to make videos and, you know, do something we like. But like I said, let's get right into it. Uh, we have the vinyl figures for Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. It's, of course, Scott and Ramona. Now, I really like these, and I really like these. I saw these. These were the first ones I liked, and then... Angela found the other ones that she liked, and once she got those, I was like, you know what, might as well get these and do a little video review on them. But they're pretty cool. The box is cool. They have two pictures from the movie. My bad, I almost dropped it there. It has, uh, of course, Scott and Ramona. And then Scott has his sword from the scene when he's fighting the last dude in the movie, if you guys have never seen it. There's also comic comics on these, like books. They're pretty cool. I read some of them. They go more into detail in the movie, of course. Now let's go ahead and open these up. These bad boys up. Mm. This one is exclusive to the 2017. Oh yeah, oh, yeah my bad. 2018, 2017. And it was yeah. 2018 summer convention. Yeah. For so Funko. limited edition. Of course, um, a lot of the limited edition ones are shared with certain stores. This one was shared with um, Hot Topic, right? Mm -hmm. And we we bought it because we had a discount for it and we had our fifteen dollar like hot cash. So we bought this and something else. Like our purchase went from fifty bucks to like in total was like thirty some, you could say around there. Well we bought candy too. I don't know if Angela wants to showcase that. She bought like some special candy like they're like the sour strips but I actually don't know where they went. Yeah. But they're they're pretty good. But I'm gonna let Angela uh, show this one and I'll show the Scott. Now the Scott's pretty cool. I like his big head. They're even bigger. Than, the heads are even bigger than the Funko Pops. This one's pretty cool because their eyes are not just circle. And I really like that he has a sword. It's kind of flames. His outfit's pretty nice, nice and nifty. So it's a pretty cool uh, vinyl figure. Like I said, I liked it. And then since Angela bought the other ones, I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and just buy these. This is a Ramona. Those are cool little space space glasses. Her bag. My favorite thing about them is just the big head. That's why I like them. And well, yeah, I like the eyes are always different. They're not just a circle like the pops. And then yeah. I, like, I like her hair on this one. It's like that pink magenta color. And if you've seen the movie or read the book, she tends to change her hair uh, like every week, if I'm correct. Right? Yeah, so week. that's pretty cool that they had this color on her. You could. She also, she's very known for the blue color and the green color. And like Angela said, I, I, I like the glasses that they had on her. So I'll put this one aside for a bit and then... I did, and our next one is. I got the Gremlins from the from this year's Comic Con convention. New York Comic Con. New York. Now we have a couple more Comic Con ones coming in, but those are gonna be for those are actual pops. We're waiting for them on the mail. We ordered them off Hot Topic because those were shared with Hot Topic. This one was actually shared at GameStop. Uh, last time when we bought this one, they had two left, so it was this one and another one. Maybe have one, depending on where you go, what GameStop you have, you may find them, you may not, because like I said, these are just limited to the convention. Once they sell out, that's it. You're not gonna find them again. They're probably gonna be vaulted. And they do have the regular ones, but I prefer these because they have they come from the scene where you know they're watching the th movie and they have the 3D glasses and Stripe is eating his. His popcorn. popcorn and then Gizmo over here. He doesn't know how to put on the glasses reading a book. 
But these are cool. Like I said, um, these are the exclusive ones. You can find the normal ones, the non-exclusive. But it's just basically them without the glasses and the other popcorn. They're just they're standing there. There you go. Which one you want to showcase, Andrew? No gizmo? Uh, I got the other. I'll start off with this one. This one's pretty cool. Really like it. They have the swivel head so you can turn these around. Not all the pops have that, so it was a cool little feature on these. Now, I liked it because he's holding his popcorn and he has the 3D glasses. Here, I'll give you a, a little 360 view. I don't know how good our zoom quality is. Now, this one's cool because they act, the glasses actually go over his ears. Where on, as the Gizmo one, I guess they couldn't because his ears are too high. But I still really enjoy Gizmo. I'm a big fan of the Gremlins. There you guys go. And these are our two vinyl packs. We have another vinyl pack that we want to buy, which is the uh, Thundercats one. Just because I'm a huge Thundercats fan. It was a cartoon I watched as a kid in Mexico. And I, I just love Thundercats. And on, to be honest with you guys, most of the Thundercat pops are expensive. Like Lion O goes for like 100 right? Yeah. 100 or like 200 around there. And I'm not trying to spend 100 or 200 on one single pop. So... If I ever do get him, it's going to be through a trade or somehow I lock out. Oh, and by the way, these, because they're so big-headed, they can't stand on their own. It's so, almost stands. Yeah, each one comes with its own little stand. There's a little hole at the bottom. Now, I like these stands because it's the perfect size. Not too big, not too um, small. So, you can have them there standing. Now, for the Gremlins, we do have a couple pops. We're going to, I'm going to just show this one off because it's one. We're planning on getting more. And once we do get more, we're not really going to showcase them until maybe like our Halloween special where we show most of our horror stuff. I wouldn't really consider them like super horror, like such as Michael Myers or Freddy Krueger or Jason Voorhees. But they do fall in the horror genre of movies. But here's our single one. Just remember, don't get more water. Yeah. Here you guys go. Is We have Gizmo in the box. When we do the actual review on him, I'll take him out for you guys. And now this... I really like Gizmo because he's number four in the horror set. So number one is, um, which one's number one? Number one is Jason Voorhees. Yeah, number one is Jason Voorhees. Then it's, uh... Freddy Krueger and Fred. then it's Michael Myers. And then number four on the set is right here, Gremlin Gizmo. So these were pretty cool finds. We're not fully going to review a lot of these vinyl packs. Like I said, there's only a few that we like. And then in the future, I'm going to review my other types of collectibles. I also have Marvel Select. We got feedback that people want to see more Marvel stuff, so we ordered more Marvel pop, Pops. So like I said, if you guys want to see any type of things specifically, let us know. If we like it too, then we'll buy it. If we don't really, really like that type of genre, we'll try to get a little bit of it, but we won't buy so much if we don't fully like it like 100%. But, um... Yeah, we're really enjoying making this video. Thank you to our 28 subscribers. Hopefully we could get 30 by the end of the week and 50 subscribers by the end of the month. That's our goal. And like I said, thank you guys. Um, this is awesome. We love making these videos. We have a great time. And like always, this is Pedro. And this is Angela. Thank you for watching this other episode of Power, Power of Collectibles. Collectibles. Thank you for watching. <laughs>